so we bought a real lemon. Worst house on the block. As they I love lemon. Say. A fixer upper. Fixer upper. Um, but we, we picked it for the bones, and it's definitely something we're excited to kind of work on. It's our first home together. Yeah, so we're stoked. First, we're adulting really hard. Really hard. So this is the living room. Don't mind all of our stuff everywhere. Also, we're living out of boxes at the moment. Uh, well, she's living out of boxes. I'm already unpacked. <laughs> well, you know. Anyway, uh, this is the living room. We love how spacious this place is. It, there's so much room and we love the already open floor plan. We're definitely going to keep that. But it's been kind of a rough start, right? Yeah, it's a 1958th century home. Um, everything needs to be updated pretty much. As you can see up here on our walls, we have brand new HVAC system going in. So we currently don't have AC. This or is our AC unit at the moment. It's keeping us cool. Yeah. Not very well, but. <laughs> um, we have no hot water. We well, had, we did it for the first two weeks. Yeah, we have asbestos remediation, which just happened today. So we're breathing clean air for the first time, which is lovely. Um, and yeah, we're. Uh, we're There's no out. lights in this living room. Literally, the, when we moved in, the only lights were this one light on the beams. That was it. So that's why there's all these random floor lamps set up. It's fine during the day, but at night, it's really bad. Also, this beautiful beam. I'm not really sure why they went with that, like Greek. Greek? Is it Greek? It's terrible, <laughs> with the, whatever. The mid century it's home, but it's gotta go. It's gotta yeah, go. We're ripping it out. So, this is like the uh, kind of free flowing dining room. There's not much to do here. We're just gonna add a much bigger table so we can have big dinner parties. Yeah. And this area. This will hopefully be our office at some point. But right now it's my this makeshift closet. Creative space, someplace. Bonus use, room. Bonus room. You can't see it behind all of our boxes, but there's a fireplace back there. And all these doors open to the outside, so. Which we'll eventually make to a little bonsai, hopefully be, beautiful garden area, so. Yeah, it'll be really light and beautiful, get good morning light, it'll be amazing when it's done. And now it's just dungy and boxy. Um, uh, one of the other benefits of the 1958 house, you can't, once again, you can't see it behind boxes, but there's an amazing wet bar behind here. So Matt and I love to entertain and have people over. So this will be really great to have um, a little bar set up with wine, we can make drinks for people and entertain all at the same time. Yes, bartend, you know. And then this is parties. Matt's domain. Um, yeah, kitchen. so this is the kitchen. This whole wall will be gone soon. Um, the kitchen will be a complete open floor plan, ideally. Kitchen's 1958 as well. Everything's 1958, nothing's been updated. <laughs> the old owner basically has been putting band-aids on this place for about 20 years, so we had that to look forward to moving in. Um, but yeah, this whole kitchen will be open. We're gonna knock out this wall over here, knock go this wall over here, and we'll probably open have everything. spanning doors leading out to our beautiful outdoor space, which we can show you a little bit later. All right, here is the master bedroom. Once again, covered in boxes, but um, not, we're not gonna change too much in this room. We're not gonna change between this main room in the master bathroom, which is right here. Yeah, on the other hand. There'll be a lot of changes to come, so. We... It is just dark and dingy. There was some moisture issues, which was mold never fun issues. to hear about moldy area, which we don't like mold. Um, not good for anybody, so. I think this bathroom and the kitchen will be the biggest changes we're gonna make inside the house. For now. Yeah, for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is gonna be the guest bedroom. It's kind of another makeshift closet for me at the moment. I need a lot of closet space, but. There's a consistent theme here. Rachel has a lot of stuff. We're working on that We're as working a team, on it. but We're currently on it. she has a lot of shit. It's all really good stuff though. It's hard to get rid of. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna be the second bedroom. Once again, not much that we're going to do to this. 
Um, we have ideas of maybe opening it to another bathroom. It's going to maybe a Miss- nursery in the near future, a far maybe, future. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but yeah, we might open up the bathroom, switch it around. We're not really sure what we want to do with the bathroom situation because this is the only bedroom that doesn't have a, a ensuite bathroom. So if this is going to be another guest room, we might need to be switching that around. But the third bedroom is going to be the best room, the closet. <laughs> Oh, a little break for the powder room. Little little powder room. This will probably change. This will probably just become a half bath and we will blow into our existing bathroom to make it a bigger, more sweet bathroom for... The bathrooms are horrible. I hate the bathrooms. They're dated, to yeah. say the least. All right, so... This is currently where we're living. It's our temporary master bedroom. Um, this will eventually be my closet room. The place you don't want to come into. <laughs> but so this is kind of where we're living while we do the master bedroom remodel. But um, this has an ensuite bathroom. As you can see, it's super tiny, like as shower, we bath, sink, whatever. So we could potentially blow this into the other guest room, Next expand out. into the powder room, maybe get rid of the shower. So we're gonna work with our designers and architects to see how much wiggle room we have with these bathroom layouts, so. They're tight as is. Should we go outside? Yeah, let's take them outside. Our favorite area of the house. Favorite. And also, as you can see in this house, we have 11 doors. So a lot of, a lot of entrance and exits to our outdoor space. Um, also, our dryer doesn't have hot air, only cold air. It came with this lovely house, so that's why our clothes are outside. Currently it's very eco-friendly. <laughs> um, so this is our outdoor space. We're changing about everything here. Um, the only thing we're keeping is we have 11 palm trees on property. As you can see, if you look up and around, they're everywhere. We love them, so we'll be keeping and accenting those um, in our, our renovation and our, our landscaping design. Um, all the other stuff has got to go. All of this ivy over here, ripped out. All of these trees, you can already see I've already started to cut some of them back, so those will go as well. This pool, this you want to go inside? This 50 foot by 15 foot master pool. So don't don't get us wrong, Matt and I love a pool, but this one is a bit ridiculous. It's unnecessary. It's 10 feet deep in the <laughs> vent, it's 50 feet long, and it's the lagoon. So. It also takes up like the entire backyard. Yeah, I don't really think we need this. So, ideally, we'd like to maybe shrink it down. I don't know. Let's see my skirt. No. <laughs> um, cut it in half. I would ideally like to cut it in half and keep it on this back side of the of the yard, and then give us a lot more entertaining space in front. So. That's my idea. We'll see. The pool is one of the most costly parts of the backyard as well. So figuring that out um, on a budget will be interesting. Yeah. But yeah, we're excited. We love our backyard. It's one of the major selling points of this house. It's super private and it has so much potential. So we're excited. This will also be our future pool cabana and studio. Currently yep. a two car garage, but- There's so much street parking in this neighborhood. It's unnecessary to keep. And there's no man cave as you guys saw in the house. This will be a <laughs> place to hang out. The future man cave. <laughs> yeah. So we're excited about that. Well, I think that's it. That's our That's our house tour. for can't, now. Can't wait for you guys to see the after. Yeah. Now get the hell out of our house. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you later.